And this is a type of name usually I wouldn't look at, but this is what's working right now. And, and beggars cannot be choosers when Amazon is resting and Facebook is resting. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Um, so let's talk about the technical view first and then we will uh, kind of uh, give me my, my thoughts going into tomorrow's session. So we started talking about this potential rolling top uh, again. It's, it's not a one day event. We, we said this about three, four days a win, sometimes a week, that you start putting in slowly lower highs, uh, lower lows, and you're starting to get a lot of decreasing volume. The only problem is somebody forgot to tell this uh, to the semiconductors. And if you've been kind of noticing uh, and you're trying to figure out what's been driving the NASDAQ 100 higher, if you look at the semis, they've been going absolutely nuts. And if you look at the group that primarily dominates the NASDAQ 100, the QQQs look no further than the semiconductors. And the performance of this group has been outstanding. Yet Qualcomm, uh, absolutely phenomenal. NVIDIA, what are you going to say? NVIDIA has been an absolute uh, just just incredible runner all across the board. Um, you talk about uh, even names like Taiwan Semiconductor, that's not a name that a lot of people a lot of focus on, but again, broke out a couple of days ago and starting to go higher, higher, and higher. Uh, LAM Research broke out a couple of days ago, right? Nice move there as well. But boy, oh boy, did you guys see what AMD did today? So AMD, when you start talking about deep out of the money calls today and a stock going potentially uh, parabolic, boy, oh boy, this is you know this is a name that just went uh, absolutely nuts. And as much as we're sitting there, and I'm still very, very cautious on overextended names, uh, I try to really stay away from them. Only you know only on rising dips into 60 minutes support. There's still a lot of value in that group. And if you go through the semiconductors uh, this evening or every single night, you're trying to see where the biggest next value is. And you started looking at charts and you start looking at a name like MU. And although MU is not your you know, the prettiest, you know, the prettiest gal at the ball, it's still a, one of those scenarios that you have to pay attention to because this is one of those scenarios that it maybe gets pulled up. Again, there's a rotation in this group. If you told me three weeks ago that AMD just, just because uh, would put in a move from, let's just say, for example, from the 50-day moving average on October the 7th, and oh, by the way, be $50 higher three weeks later, I would have thought you were nuts or the stock got uh, completely, uh, got somebody bought it out. But that's kind of where we are right now. And this is the hottest group. And our job right now is trying to figure out where's the next potential runners in that group. Not the whole sympathy play social media stuff, but real tangible companies that have good earnings, that are coming out of channels and if they start confirming those channels who knows if there's big aggressive option flow in those names maybe that's the next one to go so the clearest one that i'm watching and again it doesn't necessarily mean it has to wake up in the next couple of days but look what at least mu is showing compared to the names like a qualcomm exploded and the video exploded uh names like uh, a clack right just went absolutely nuts uh, names like a Maxim that had this really, really big run, had a nice little sell-off, but really, really big on, off the 50-day moving average. So there's not a lot of choices left in that group. But as long as that group continues to be good, number one, we need to buy, continue to buy the strong names and dips. So for example, a name like AMD, although it's in you know parabolic waters, we saw today they were coming for short-term uh, 165, 170, 180. Uh, call buying in the name and that's very very aggressive and, and if you look at the names that already made their moves they they made their moves into very very aggressive call buying same kind of uh, same kind of thing short-term expiration so I am going to start watching a name like Micron again not the greatest trader in the world but beggars can't be choosers in the name if you're again if you're looking for names that are not overextended you're looking for names that just kind of got above uh, supply and this is what you know looking at MU so if MU starts clearing out this whole channel 
cattle and we start seeing short-term expiration coming in, 80, 85, $90 calls, you know that is the green light that's been kind of the MO of all the big, big rallies uh, in the semiconductor space. And the most important part is we're gonna follow uh, the option flow. Everything else, uh, there, there's a lot of value, like we've been saying for the last couple of days. Overextension, not for me, but there's names that are coming out names we probably wouldn't focus on, maybe earnings plays, maybe stocks that were consolidating uh, above their earnings highs, maybe stocks that had huge call buying two, three weeks ago, maybe waking up, maybe a Bitcoin ETF, right? Maybe a name uh, like a BITO that's very, very close to kind of uh, starting to, to really, really break out uh, above these channels. So the, the, there's still a lot of meat on the bone. It's just not the n normal names that we're watching. Uh, Amazon already started getting uh, a little, little type. Facebook, you could clearly tell, uh, got tight, got rejected off the 50-day moving average. Uh, Apple, tired, starting to roll over. And again, nobody's saying, nobody's saying this thing's going to come all the way in, but that's kind of like the, the, the message I've been really trying to convey to, to, to a lot of new traders, that you could still have a lot of really good value and starting getting very, very aggressive and still have the major leaders kind of come in. And the cool part about this market is you might not even, you might not even notice that they're coming in because there's so much really good aggressive value and other spots of the market. So the market continues to be very good. And the most important part is there's still value coming off a of bottom. And the longer we base out over the 50 day moving average, and this is the fourth week in a row, the higher probability to have a lot of weirder names kind of pop up. Like look at a name like, for example, uh, like Neg today, right? Look at a name like Neg out of nowhere, huge, huge move had a monster run going all the way back to July and starting putting in big volume. And this is a type of name usually I wouldn't look at, but this is what's working right now. And, and beggars cannot be choosers. When Amazon is resting and Facebook is resting, and Apple is resting and the video is a little bit uh, too long in the tooth and Tesla uh, is resting a little bit after a great phenomenal troll uh, by Elon Musk and talking about running a poll of all things. Should I sell 10% of my stock? And the problem is he trolled retail to such a point that they sold him stock all the way, not sold him, they sold stock all the way at the bottom of the range on the 10 day moving average. And at one point today, Tesla was only down like 22 points. We thought this thing was about to go green. So I think Tesla needs maybe a two, three days to kind of relax a little bit, get its legs under them. Uh, the way the stock is trading and the way they came with such aggressive uh, dip buyers in the name, unless it loses the 10-day moving average on the close, uh, I believe this is a stock that probably will start running again uh, in the next couple of weeks. But names like Neg interest me, right? Names like Neg interest me, especially if they start confirming the top of the channel. One of the bigger moves today, great pivot today. This stock, great. Guys, you should really watch this grief. For all you guys who are not familiar with the name, uh, it's play. It's a play on Bitcoin. Uh, the stock has been rejected now three times in a row, right over here, right over here, and right over here at the same price at, in the 3070s. If this start, thing starts building above $31, they were coming in. If you, for all you guys have option uh, scanners, they were coming in for November 19th. Okay, today's the 8th. It's about 11 days. November 19th expiration of the 35s, 40s, 45s, 50s, and the 55 calls. The stock's at $28 a share. Uh, $31 is going to be amazing, a big, big area uh, for the stock in the next few days. And if, if the options market is right and they're betting according to a future event uh, with near-term expiration, this one has to be uh, on your radar. LCID continues to be an absolute monster. Uh, this is a name still you need to watch uh, for any, especially macro dips uh, into rising support. Uh, look at a name like um, look at a name like TTD. Great, great earnings, right? Really, really good earnings. Uh, gapped up today, right into supply. This thing is approaching now all-time highs. That's where it got rejected right today. So the play going into tomorrow is any weakness in this thing uh, into rising 60-minute support. I have to assume the shorts get trapped. This thing goes red to green. If it takes out this all-time high where it got rejected today, you could start a next uh, series events higher, just the way uh, Airbnb uh, did today. Airbnb uh, gapped up, right? Gapped up, took out the previous range and had a really, really uh, nice looking run. So I'm still uh, definitely, uh, excuse me, bearish, still definitely bullish. 
uh, into tomorrow. Of course, the names that are extended, I have no interest in, for the exception of buying them into rising 60-minute uh, support. It's the safety factor while still uh, being, uh, being biased on the, di the direction where the market is still very, very aggressive. And maybe tomorrow you might not have your prototypical day, Amazon, Tesla, Netflix, Coin, this, that, the other thing, but there's still a lot of names watching the MU, watching this gray, watching this uh, NEGG, uh, AMD into any dips, uh, this Bitcoin IPO, B uh, B uh, Bitcoin ETF, BITO. So there's still a lot of things to do. The most important part is just waiting for the value. And once it comes, attack it with extreme technical prejudice. So let's talk about uh, today's action. Uh, great dips today uh, in Tesla. Okay, for all you guys who caught on the rising 10-day moving average, congratulations. I missed that one. I caught that opening range uh, off that uh, 1180, which is a great, great move. Almost went, it literally almost attacked that 1200 area. That's how great that move was, but great job there. Uh, so let's talk about it. QDEL, I was watching. I still like this area here, 120 to the downside. It never got there. Uh, RBLX, we were watching for that intraday break, um, intraday break of 77 that never got there. Uh, they reported tonight, right? They reported tonight. We're going to watch this thing for an opening range play. Huge numbers, really, really good numbers. Uh, they were actually coming for the uh, 85 and 90 dollar call buying weeklies. Uh, really good numbers. We have to watch this thing uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Netflix not a big move. Uh, only went down like a dollar and a half. Uh, Airbnb was a really nice move here. 205 needs to build. Here was Air. Uh, B and B, right? Here was Airbnb right over here. So we were talking about the 205 level, took 205, went to 211 and change. Really, really uh, strong move there. Uh, Z literally just closed above the 74. I still like it uh, for tomorrow. This was a monster, monster move. Uh, 2780, 28 uh, needs to build. And this thing went to almost uh, 31. This is a fantastic, fantastic move. Um, I still really, really like it for the next couple of days. I think that 31 level is going to be huge, and it stopped perfectly on the previous high of uh, 3072. This 31 is going to be a massive, massive area, so let's definitely keep an eye on that. But great move today. Absolutely great move today. Uh, TTD for experienced traders only, 83 needs to build. Uh, stock went to 90. Uh, here was uh, Airbnb. NVIDIA obviously not got down there. Uh, Laser only put up like a 30 cent move or so, nothing big. Uh, ironically, there was still I still kind of like it. They're coming for the $19 calls. Uh, BITO, I still like this 43 level. Uh, and again, here's the, you know, definitely the move of the day. Uh, agree. Uh, take on the way up 31st, uh, $31 next stop. Beautiful. I mean, $3 move on the $28 stock was pretty damn good. Uh, car. Congratulations for all you guys who caught car. Uh, guys, we got to watch this car. If you guys remember a week ago, this damn car went literally from like a whatever it was. Let me see how big that move was. That car went, it went what? From one uh, where did it go from 173 to 550 okay we started we started seeing call buyers coming in today uh, they were coming in two million dollars for the December uh, 390s and 2.2 .2 million dollars for the December 400 calls that's a hundred points out of the money with four million dollars worth of premium this was a sneaky area on the chart 302 needs to build uh, and nice pop there, nice pop there, but pop from 302 to 318. We have to follow this trade here. If they start coming in with, again, with some really aggressive call buying with short-term expiration, a name like this, and like I said today in the webinar, whatever doesn't go down, you know, must go. So we got to definitely keep an eye and follow this thing for the next couple of days. Uh, car, and again, here's the numbers. You know, car went from 302 to 312, 323, 328. Great, really good start. Really, really impressive start to the week, and that's the most important part. Uh, yeah, again, not, not a big move on Netflix. Uh, agree, beautiful, beautiful move. And I said here, again, 31 close will be, will be a really, really big number there. So that's it. So we're ready for tomorrow. We're watching some Micron. We're watching some Bitcoin uh, ETF. We're watching some maybe day two in some of these, um, some of these $20, $30 stocks. Uh, we're definitely watching TTD for weakness for another uh, potential second day run. But the most important part is we're conscious where the market is. Uh, we understand that we're a little bit above Pluto and the names that are overextended. 
we want to avoid, and the most important part, we want to trade the market with consistency in our approach, but more important, consistency in our thinking. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow.